The transition to adolescence is a vulnerability period for a variety of different kinds of health risk behaviors. We know there are serious changes in the brain that change adolescents' ability to think through the risks of engaging in certain behaviors. Most teenagers are surprisingly resilient to the stresses of adolescence, but it seems that there is a growing number of adolescents who are at risk for a variety of different kinds of adjustment difficulties. One out of five adolescent girls experiences a major depressive episode, and of course the rates of health risk behaviors, including substance use and sexual risk behaviors and self-injury, have been increasing for a number of years now. We are seeing what seems to be increases in adolescence engagement in non-suicidal self-injurious behaviors. These are behaviors like cutting, for instance, where um, kids are causing harm to their own tissue without the intent to die. For some reason, some kids have found that engaging in this kind of behavior, like cutting, will make them feel better. It has a short-term benefit, but of course, it has a very long-term consequence it presents a serious risk for increased suicidality in the future. One of the most important things uh, that kids experience during the school year is their status among other peers. But anyone who's been to high school knows that there are different kinds of status. There are those kids who are really well liked and those, there are those kids who are very popular. And they're not necessarily the same kids. The highly popular kids are intimidating, they're very influential, they are known to be aggressive towards people who are against them, but nevertheless, kids really look up to them and are wanting to follow the trends that these popular kids will set. So they're particularly important characters within the high school setting. They can rule the school in a sense, even while others don't like them. The well-liked kids tend to be generous, socially skilled, and kind to others. They can be influential as well, but they tend not to be aggressive. Um, they may be a little bit more high academically achieving. They may have other types of attributes that make them really well liked and really well regarded within the school. Parents really want to pay attention not to just to whether their kids have friends, but also what their friends are like. There's a lot of research to suggest that the number one predictor for adolescents engaging in health risk behaviors is the extent to which their best friends are engaging in these same behaviors. So it's important for parents to really monitor what their kids are doing and understand that adolescents very much want to be well regarded by their peers and will likely do things that they feel their peers value. Of course, it's almost impossible to get adolescents to stop being friends with people that parents don't want them to be friends with. But it is okay to help adolescents remember what the family's values are and how to make decisions when they're in the company of peers that are encouraging them to engage in behaviors that are maladaptive.